Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Diablo. Uh, where we last left off, we had this hunk of meteorite here to... This must be what Griswold yeah, wanted. Yeah, give it to Griswold. But, Miss Sira... Aye. Aye! Aye, it is as I believed! Give me a moment. Uh, <laughs> here you are. I arranged pieces of the stone within a silver ring that my father left me. Oh, uh, how sweet of you, Griswold. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, Kane. Hello, Hello my friend. Stay uh, it costs a hundred dollars to identify. Scrolls of identify also cost a hundred dollars. So either way, it doesn't matter. Let's take a look here. Sure is a pretty thing. I don't know how the hell to say that. Imprian band plus two to attributes, twenty percent light radius, fast hit recovery, absorbs half a trap of damage. Since we're not really encountering much elemental stuff, we're going to take off our topaz ring, but we're going to keep it. Uh, we have the plus one to attributes amulet. We've got our new armor we're wearing, even though it's kind of shitty. But wow. it is, what can I do for it is you? studded black leather. Uh, we'll sell that. And uh, let's browse through here. Hmm. Yeah, nothing really interesting. So, let's go back down to the catacombs. Okay guys, before we get started here, I want to demo what it's like to die. And plus we're going to see what these Black Death actually do to us here. So let's look at our life, 157, yeah, you see it going down permanently. Not only is it going down over here, it's going down permanently. But we have, we're bare fisted, so let's... Punch him right in the gut. Go ahead and, and kill me, please. I want to demo this dying stuff for you guys. Hopefully it will help explain the challenge. And you see, all my shit fell off. Yeah. In uh, multiplayer, then you got to go back down and get all your shit. Or if you're playing with somebody else, they probably already got your shit. So I died. Here's my options. Start a new game or load a saved game. Well, I, after every recording, I save. So if I load a game, that's where it will take me. Um, if I start a new game... Let's just start a new game here. We could load a game, start a new game. God damn it, I said start a new game. Oh uh, yeah, we start a new game. We still have all our shit. Not only that, but let's let's demo. Uh, you remember what Griswold had? Oh, what can I do Look, for you? We got we could do the whole quest again with the with the, with the tainted water. Uh, Griswold has different stuff we could buy. Um, we could start back on the the level one dungeon and. Uh, just clear all that again, you know, or we could walk over here to the catacombs. The catacombs are not open yet. Huh, well, I didn't know that would be like that. Hey, there's the, the, the wounded townsman. That gives you the butcher quest. You see, the game is all different. It's all a new game. Um, you know, we, we see. The sanctity of this place has been I would have found. already broken those barrels, the skeleton, all that stuff. Uh, New level layout. Um, now you see it keeps track of my kills from the last game. What else? I don't know. You see I'm still level 11. Anyway, anyway. We're going to go back to our original game, though. So, yeah. Hopefully that gives you guys kind of a better idea of what this challenge run is. You know, as opposed to starting a new game and continuing on... You know, if I hit a hard spot, or like, if you got these black deaths... Let's back up a little here. If you got the black deaths, you could just restart a new game and maybe they won't spawn in your new game. That's why you'd want to do that. And that's the challenge of this. It's, it's not the hardest challenge, you know, in the world. A blood fountain. That just... You can click on this as many times as you want, recharges your life. Awesome, right? It's a little creepy thing. And uh, hopefully that also helped dim demo the importance of, of not getting hit by these guys. But no, hopefully it, it demonstrates the importance of actually hitting them, thank you, before they hit you. Christ. Warrior is not very accurate with his shots. 
It's also a slow caster. What's over here? Mr. Goatman! The Goatmen are, um, lieutenants of Baal, and uh, they're kind of like the gladiators of the prime evils. Oh, for crying out loud. Kind of like gladiators in that they uh, used to hold mock battles just for the entertainment of the three prime evils. You know, even even evil likes a good blood sport. Any uh, any enemies over here? He's already dead. We don't gotta worry about him. Where to? Where to next? Shriot. Okay, here, let's see what's in this room. I. Oh, I don't trust anything. was the point of that? It's like a closet within a closet. Oh dear. Let's uh, back up here. We might want our other weapons here. It's really getting annoying switching these around, but luckily I won't have to uh, do that. There's, there's no more black dust after level 5. Wrath Raven? Ah, I can't hit shit here. Yeah, whenever you hit these guys, sometimes they have a tendency to to transport, to teleport around. I don't know. I don't think they're actually supposed to do that, but whatever, whatever. Hey, by the way, you noticed I was fighting barehanded a while ago when I was, you know, demoing that. In Hellfire, the monk actually gets a bonus from fighting barehanded. Look at that. There's a unique over there. He wants to play with us. Looks like he's too fast to be a Black Death. Thank God. Ha! Let's light this place up! It's a nice effect. When you cast fire, you know, it actually lights it up. Which, uh, I guess I could explain the light radius. Ooh! Blade. Yep. Things just killing themselves. It doesn't get any better than that. So just from the simple use of firewall, I think you guys can see the benefit of playing the sorcerer. It's you know, it's quite fun. He's quite weak in Too the beginning, baggage. but quite fun. God damn it! Yeah, totally, totally crispy. Too much baggage, too much baggage. Always got too much freaking baggage. I'm gonna have to sell that thing. I'm tired of carrying it around. I only had it just in case I decided to go toe to toe with the with the zombies since they're undead. They would have done a little more damage. But I prefer the range. I mean, it's it's more of a challenge not to get hit than it is to just you know get your face bashed in by every animal. I did level up. I should probably. There, looky there. He's hiding. Come on. It's, you gotta get him straight. Jesus Christ, he's getting a little close. God bless! You're the worst aim ever! What's in there? What's this? It's, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what's in there yet. Let's walk around over here. Uh, let's explain the light radius after we kill these guys. So you can kind of see my light radius, if I take this off, I don't notice much difference right there, but anyway. Um, there is actually a technique, well, if you have, the more light radius you have, the easier it is for your enemies to see you. Like, they'll see you from further away and be activated and run up. If you get items that give you minus light radius, it's almost like a, a stealth assassin technique where you can kind of creep around without activating them. So it's kind of a, just a gameplay choice, you know? How do you want to do it? Well, let's go clear out this room, which is undoubtedly going to be filled with friggin' enemies. So let's go ahead and pump up our mana, get our firewall spell ready, since I don't ever remember what hotkey it is. I don't even know 
where items fell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anything good in here? Anything worth a damn? Bow? Ring? What was that? What was that? What did I just pick up there? I don't even know. Something? Mana potion? Well, I'm gonna have to end this here. Scroll of infrared vision. We'll demo that next time. Book of Flash. I can't carry anymore. So, yeah, we're gonna have to make another trip to town. Oh, uh, boy, 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 boy. I'm Eclipse 10. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. Not enough, Not mana. enough mana. Thanks for watching, everybody.